Welcome to Isn't It Obvious, where things are obvious. <laughs> That's going to be the intro. Welcome to Isn't It Obvious. I'm your host, Sarah. Uh, joining me is Phil and Micah. And today I have a question, or a statement rather. Isn't it obvious that time travel is impossible? Wow. I mean... Impossible. Impossible. Just right. It's just not going to work. No, no matter I, what you do. I emphatically disagree. It's just not going to work. Logically, a medical coma is time travel. Is not. This is like the spirit of time travel. Like, are we trying to figure out the best loopholes? Well, technically... You can't go back in time. There's just no way. You can't go into the future. You wake up. Okay. The time still passes. Time yeah, is time linear. Time but not your perception of time. Because I got into a car accident when I'm 18. I'm now 38. That's time travel. Yeah, time travel yes. forward is... Everyone oh. travels forward, Micah. That's, I know. That's but how it works. If I have no cognizance it's of not it, really time, then it's time travel. It, that's why drugs are so great. I don't think that's really time travel. That's just your your body's alive, but your consciousness isn't. But at what parameters are you putting on time travel? It's people's perception being, of time advancing. No, no, no. Like actually being or interacting degrees. from one point in time to another sure. where other points have passed or gone. And I'm in a car accident. I lose all... All touchstones. But you're not interacting. No, right? I'm not. Oh, okay. And then I wake up a decade later and I am interacting. That is time but travel. But your body... I have a decade now <laughs> to learn things. But your body has been interacting. It's still in time. The consciousness is the important part but here. That's... Because it's about perception well, okay, of time travel. That's not time travel. travel. <laughs> Is it? Let that's just, not really time travel. How about this? How about like a simple case where you take a pilot and you make them go a fraction of the speed of light. They come back and for their perspective based on relativity, they didn't really age as much. But when they go back to Earth, everyone's older and all their loved ones are gone and dead. That type of time travel, like we all agree, is not as boring. What we want to talk about is time travel sci-fi style. Like, yeah. Can right. I go back in time? And, and change what? things. But, that's but, murder time. Hitler. <laughs> you know? Like important things. <laughs> but, are we dealing this with H.G. Wells time travel, where, in fact, the reason why you had to discover time travel is the same thing that keeps reoccurring? So maybe if you, I have the desire to go back in time to stop Hitler, that then someone else would rise up? Like the Harry Potter thing, where time is, Causality it tries, is it tries to fix itself? Yeah. Like it closes the loop? But then, if you have it where I, in 2010, go back in time to 1950, then I had already existed in 1950. Time has already made up for that fact. Plus, Stephen Hawking held up. So you're not really changing anything? No. Which is basically yeah. not, exactly, yeah. which isn't time travel. Well, right. not really. No, we want the classic Back to the Future time travel. Like, being, like able, this to, is, being able to actually change You want to look at a something. photo and see it fade? We want the gold standard of time travel, which no, is No, you wouldn't you... see it fade. You, going back in time, you'd have memories of a future that you changed, but the future from your point in time onwards would be different because you one... changed it. Right, but in Back to the Future, when his future was being changed, he was looking at a photograph where, like, his older sister would fade away and his parents faded right. away. Yeah. And he was starting to fade away. Yeah. Even though he was still living in 1950. So I'm really confused what type of like cinematic plot point that was there for. Well, it's because the universe takes... Fucking these movies, man. <laughs> like, Looper just... Oh, the... Looper was kind of okay. No, it wasn't. It was horrible. <laughs> God. Well, it was... wait. Tell us how you really feel, Sarah. <laughs> just scratching the scars in his arm. Yeah, and that was, ears. That was, I'm like, that come was, on. That was wait, real bad, too. Yeah, that's not logically <sighs> that's consistent. Not, no. Doesn't work. Doesn't no. work that way. Mm -mm. Best time travel would be something where you can go back in time. You're not there already because the universe said, haha, gotcha. Yet you can do something and then return back in your time travel machine the present day and then be like, wow, things are different. That is the classic can that time travel exist? Is that premise of isn't that obvious? Yeah. Oof. So. Oh, then that, absolutely not. Yeah, it's just, you can't because <laughs> no, time is linear and it just is. It's, you you could have a, a separate path, timeline which, kind of thing. If you change an event in 1953, then there's a parallel line, which is now you have infinite universes. Well, that's different because that's not really time travel though. that's you, you universe have, jumping but you have infinite universes based on the choices that were made where if one choice is made all of the choices you didn't make have their still own still not time travel no I would agree that this is it's just it's but, no it's not it's just jumping over to another universe that's on a different time scale but it was based on the choices right I think that you need to have by the way I'm not a time choices this, this really I'm sorry Phil but I really just need to I just really need to say this really calls into question free will <laughs> no no I was gonna <laughs> time is linear well, and you so can't isn't change it time travel as a plot device is bad for fiction as opposed to actual scientific yes it is bad for fiction for sure but it's also just not possible in real life well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Technically speaking, we already 
understood that it is possible, but in the most boring way. Like, this is not yeah. good for storytelling. So, from a storytelling it, it perspective... Worked in Interstellar. Uh, that time travel did work. It never works. It's never. I've never sat through a movie or a show that made time travel have, work. Have you me. watched Interstellar? Remind me of it. Feel Matthew like McConaughey. I don't yeah. know names. Flat. The guy that... The guy who directed the Dark Knight trilogy. Directed this well, sci-fi... I'm not going to say masterpiece, because Inception was his masterpiece. I did see that. Earth is dying in the future due to global warming. That's, yeah. that's real far. Okay, yeah. Uh, Alright. But they find, like, a black hole... Hole opened by Saturn or something that led to other possible stars. Do they realize how black holes work? All right, go on. Well, the Einstein rose in German. Whatever. Hole, okay. The wormhole quote thing, right. where it allows us to travel vast distances very quickly. So they come to a planet where, due to its proximity to a black hole, the time on the planet is like every hour is five years or something, even from where the ship is placed by the black hole to the planet. And they're gone for like a day and they go back and a dude's been alone for seven years. All personal time. That type of time travel is plausible. Oh, like you mean like you're going because of faster just... than light or you're going right. through space. Well, not faster than light, but you're going up. Can Rama, when they like leave for a few years and they come back and like 300 years has passed because their ship is... Rama? Wasn't that Rendezvous right? with Rama? Yeah. No. No? God, that was just... Of... The... Sorry, I read this way back. I had like a science fiction class and... He had a science that... fiction class? That was just an it was awful. Objects. It was awful. Like the books were cool, but the teacher was terrible because he partnered me with this group of less than intelligent individuals who just didn't read and it was a, I was a holding sci-fi up. literature course in college no high school, high school. oh yeah there's Whoa. zero mm -hmm. yeah you should have hated the books are cool though I, I remember mm -hmm. reading a couple maybe it wasn't Rama then I'm, I'm just, just, I'm just a fan spoilers that rendezvous with Rama just ends with a big old orgy I just remember and yeah, that's just how it ends I remember there was a lot of weird like sexual things in there oh, as a teenager who didn't really give a shit and there was also like the stairs I remember that stairs were cool pages and pages of stairs anyway so show notes guys Rama <laughs> read it it's actually <laughs> Rendezvous with Rama by somebody I don't know it's been by a man that Clark. was maybe Arthur C. Clarke we'll put it in the show notes <laughs> as Arthur C. Clarke I'm sure I'm sure mom really wants to look this up and read it later right well, then why wouldn't she the story ends in an orgy. That spoiler really Fair. is Fair. not something I want to connect two things together. Look, I, I feel Ugh. like the problem with time travel in the way that we want it to be super cool and fun is that is that if you want to be able to go back in time and change something, you're going to need to have the concept of like an infinite multi-universe type of thing. The reason why I say it this way is because of Super Mario Brothers, that the first game on the NES. I had this reoccurring theme that Mario dies and then you wake up again as Mario from World 1-1 and then you try it again and you die and you, it's kind of like a weird sense of time travel because you already know what the obstacles are in the future. As a kid playing it, you don't consider it time travel. You just consider it all back to the beginning. And I think that, that in that sense, like, is every run then a parallel universe of that Mario? But you still retain that knowledge of the world before. And the point here is that in order for that to happen, you need another dimension to be able to go. So on a two-day plane, or you need to have a third dimension to be able to move it from the surface of the paper to go and put it somewhere else mm -hmm. right so then on a 3d plane you need the fourth dimension to be able to kind of do the same thing to move an object in oh, X, y, Z, the are, yep. and then on a 4d plane you're going to need some other mechanism where you can do that same thing and to move it in order to do that you would just need 4d chart but just an infinite amount of them and you're like oh we're going to use this one now and this is how we're going to be able to reset it. So that's the only way I can explain how that type of... So really, when you time travel, you're abandoning a hopeless cause. You're abandoning a world that you're like, eh, I hate it. I'm going to go change it. Except you're not changing anything. You're literally just leaving that world, continue on in its hopeless path, and going to another place that's a little more suitable that you're like, here's the point in time that I want to change so the world isn't going to suck super hard when I get to it. I think that's... The, yeah. Th that I feel is what... Fuck that other world. <laughs> Fuck all the people so, I left behind. We're, we're in timeline <laughs> one from our perspective. Mm -hmm. The worst timeline. And if we go <laughs> back in time to say stop Hitler, but every other choice was made exactly the same, that would be just a different universe. Yeah, but that but that's why other there's universe still infinite exists. Infinite universes. Yeah, because the, there's we, a universe for all choices to be made in all situations beyond all of them. But isn't that a shitty thing to do is leave your own no. universe, your home universe, the one that birthed you and no. made you and just okay. leave it behind. Is that why you live in your hometown still? I don't. Okay. Look but, at that. Hey, but I you moved was, on from it, something. It was 
is more of a convenience thing. <laughs> well, sort of too. Also, there's nothing, nothing happening There's there. a reason why I don't live up in the Great North anymore. Yeah. It's because I experienced that. I'm like, nah, I'm done with you. Yeah, but we can move on. But like, you can still go back and visit, right? Who would want to fucking visit but that shithole world? God, it is not the same. If you went to a different dimension where all the same choices are made, where you theoretically still had your same siblings, though, hell, your brother's a sister. Hey, I like my brother. You leave him out of this. Well, you might he him might be a he might be a cranky curmudgeon, but I love my brother. I'm not saying you I don't. Will fight you. But now I'm saying that you don't love your brother. You love your sister. <laughs> okay. All I'm saying. Okay. No, I am. Uh, but like. <laughs> That, that sense of nostalgia should theoretically oh, still be there. Unless there are yeah. drastic changes. Yeah, but like... would they be the same person? They wouldn't be. I mean, clearly they'd have totally different life experiences. So... Yeah, so you would be abandoning it anyway. Let, let's just say that it wasn't a multi-universe, right? That you actually is the Everything. same universe. And somehow it's the best case scenario that you go back and kill Hitler. <laughs> time now completely swerves a different way. And wouldn't you already be doing that same thing where you're saying goodbye to everybody you know? Yep. So, like, what difference does it make if you say that goodbye to everybody I know from this timeline or a multiple different parallel timeline? The same effect occurs. Everything that you did know and love in the past is now erased. Isn't it better to say that it's actually a parallel track so that way you didn't just ruin billions of souls that had been well, exactly. born afterwards? Exactly. It, it would have to be a parallel track that the first world would still exist and they would still go on but just magically disappears that couldn't work you just magically disappear in the exactly yes so so you're asking what the morality of you magically disappearing to a life or a timeline that you find far more preferable there's a lot of ethical questions i think say you just go back 14 years and you kill your other self from the universe <laughs> say we go back 14 minutes in this podcast <laughs> murder one of us. <laughs> murder one of us and be like ethically And replace them with a changeling. Maybe that's where all the changeling stories go. But the thing is, from. we'd have the same conversation, just there would be a corpse at the table. Right. Yeah. <laughs> same level of intensity. Like, yeah. like, hey there, uh, uh, Phil 2? <laughs> Phil It wouldn't eight? be the Phil same, no. how, how, how are we supposed to do this now? Phil A. Okay, yeah. all right. I mean, all like, right. clearly Phil A is going to be Philomena. Just Phil A. Clearly, it's going to be different, and it would be Phil this or Phil whichever. That would be the no, Phil. Well, whatever, Phil. <laughs> Phil number two, B, A, whatever. A. A? Well, wait, your original Phil. Phil one. Phil OG. Yeah, Phil, Phil one was murdered by Phil A, and now Phil A is sitting in this podcast and we're still recording it. Yeah, but Plus, nothing has really changed apart from the mm, increasing odor. Doesn't set in that <laughs> increasing. <laughs> Decaying corpse, hopefully. It doesn't decay that. It's cold. It's Minnesota. There's plenty of ways to... Just try it out outside. It'll be fine. Time travel the body order, and then we just keep sending it back. We'll have to wait, though, until, you know, spring thaw before we can bury it, so... I did derail your question. I'm sorry. (laughs) Well, as utter derailment. (laughs) All right. If there were to be a point that you would go back in time to change, what would it be? Oh, no. Morale. One point. You have one. You have nope. one ticket. Morally, I wouldn't do it. Morally. Not at all? Mm-mm. For anything. Oh. But be, morally, nope. that would be like... Nope, you get one shot. Nope. Don't fucking live with regrets. Don't it's, do it's, it. It's not a matter of That's regrets. That's not true. I sit at night and I think about all the horrible, stupid things I said to people all the time. Ugh. Drives me nuts. Yeah, I that's... still think about those things I said like ten years ago, like someone that I just it just bothers me. It bothers me. I'm like, why did I say that thing? But no, I I don't think I'd change it. Yeah, that, 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 no, 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 person. not not in your life. Oh, in the world, you have a time machine, oh. but you have one trip back, oh, or right. one trip back, one trip out, and one trip back. What would you change? <sighs> Like, would you just go back and kill Hitler if you had the one shot? No, I feel like that's pretty... Like, I mean, that's the obvious answer, like, but I feel like there's a lot of other evils, too. And if there's a time machine, someone else is going to take care of it. Okay. You? Oh, just me? Yeah. Mm. Aliens visit and those Gabarxian, you are deemed to be the most interesting experiment for us. You can go back in time in your planet. We've been watching it for millennia. Listen... I, I think you started. already set the <laughs> trap. Is that, oh, okay, when did you start watching? It's like we started watching five, you know. Yeah, okay. So they say 5,000 years ago. And they're like, okay. what are you going to do to stop them 5,000 5, years, years in the ago? 5,000 years ago and uh, put me on the bridge. And like, can I bring things? Like, what is your most powerful weapon? No, no, no. You're stuck, <laughs> you're stuck in <laughs> Just... terrestrial Earth. You're going to show up like naked with nothing but your own person. No, no, no. What like... you're wearing. These aren't. Don't just go back. These aren't Terminator rules. So, yeah. so. Can I choose where I get to? So I'll have these yep, awesome clothes. Like these, these great, awesome. weirdly woven clothing. You're in whatever you feel would be acceptable. Can I be clever enough to try to destroy? 
destroy them. Like, just be like, oh, I need C4 and send, you know, like, I just need a bunch. There are alien species that has access to time travel. There's nothing. You you don't think that they'd think ahead and be like, but we're going to send someone right behind you that will stop you at whatever you do. But at the same time, they chose me. You guys, this is a really bad (laughs) fiction story. Stop it. This is just a really bad fiction story. It doesn't change my base question that... If you had one point in time to go back to, to try and change a thing, what would you do? I don't think I would. Yeah, if you did, then wouldn't that mean that everyone you knew and loved would be gone? Not right? necessarily, oh. but... Because you got to think about big picture things. Yeah, sure. Like, let's say I stopped Cortez from his trip and gave him, you know, malaria two weeks earlier and he died in his exploration. That's going to change big picture things to mm-hmm. a point because where... Because some of the European will probably go out there. Yeah. Especially the Spaniards. Someone will. Come on now. <sighs> Just... I think somebody subscribes to the Jared Diamond's uh, Guns, Germs, and Steel version of history. <laughs> no. Show notes, <laughs> fellas, <laughs> of why he's wrong. <laughs> they might have had an extra 20 or 30 years... But Spain wasn't going to stop sending people to this grand place that no other European really had power over. It certainly wasn't. That won't change. It might be a little longer, maybe a few months or something. But yeah. They no, might, it might have been a bloodier war against the Europeans, but that's about it. They still would, the natives still would have lost. I would argue that changing even a thing like that. I don't think would... I care enough about like humans as a race to really give a shit about changing big picture shit. Like, I just don't care that much about other people is that horrible no i mean is that like, horrible to say maybe a little little terrible to say but i think in a big picture view if you look at all of the billions that are here i think that that's kind of like a very clinical statement like look what is the one thing that is the biggest help that everyone would or at least most people well, would not, benefit from not fucking god but <laughs> right but I would argue that if you saw something happen on a much more personal scale that you could yes. have helped, then suddenly that changes the math, even though it doesn't make sense. Like, it really makes more sense to say something like, oh, I wish we did the crash R&D program to start having miniaturization in our wheat so that we can be able to combat the Uganda rust situation where it would destroy all of our crops faster. Something like this would make it so that many more millions of people would benefit from the terribleness of hunger. But, oh no, that's that's just too high level. I just don't really care about humanity as a whole. But if you see somebody that's really hungry, that's like a, I would say... A, in like your community, be, in right your community, in you. That seems like it's not their... <laughs> I would say, like, not a homeless hobo murder person. Like, it's just a sad situation where it's like... homeless people murderers to you? Whoa. (sighs) Because you put in two words about their homelessness and, like, the murderer is, like, some weird follow-up. You're like, that justifies it. You're you're stepping on one of my causes of homelessness. Homelessness and hunger. Those two things, I think, are just awful. And yes, I would love to get rid of them. But I don't think changing the past would necessarily fix that problem but i don't know you had a year let's say you have a year to think about it you might think of hey maybe i come in with these new genetically modified seeds it seems weird that you would dismiss it altogether because on a big scale it's like almost impossible to change these terrible things that are happening do you think if i were to go back in time with knowledge or a a way to develop these seeds that are gonna grow more crops in these harder to grow regions for people who need that food do you think that would really change anything do you think people wouldn't still be hungry wouldn't find some way to fuck it up somehow i don't know that going back in time is really the solution (laughs) i I, I feel like this is the only solution i feel like you're ignoring like i'm sorry for all those people in the past who suffered for sure but wait hold on so we have a year to prepare for this trip? <laughs> you have a how year. About just, oh, how about we just... Oh, right. How about we just fucking change it now? <laughs> how about we just move on and move forward? That's <laughs> really the the best way to do it. Why, why that, waste That time? doesn't change what this experiment is, Sarah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The possibility of it, which is yes. not possible. <laughs> which we already right. determined in the first... Because we already agreed on that. <laughs> eight minutes of the okay. podcast. Like, yeah, this isn't going to happen. All but right. if they could, why are you so horrible? God, all of my obvious questions are actually... Really obvious. God, yeah. no, the, well, the, 
No, I was. No, they're so obvious that we then have to make up these situations. I'll come up with a better one next. Okay, time. so <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay, I, I gotta just close this loop here on killing Hitler because oh, obviously oops. everyone. Oh, is... no, 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 what I would do? Go back in time to uh, Martin Luther prior, like in the middle of his education, which and one? give Martin Luther literal Martin Luther. German okay, Martin Luther. all right, just just so our listeners know which Martin Luther you're talking about, because one of them is Martin Luther King Jr. I know, I know, but sometimes people don't think about that that far back. <laughs> just okay. But Martin Luther with a translated and vernacular accurate communist manifesto and just see what he does. <laughs> wow, so you're not even like ethically like what's the least pain I can do? You're oh, no. just like, hey, I got this like semi truck <laughs> worth of. Hey, hey, hey. You think that I don't think the Martin word really... of God should be accepted and uh, tangible to every person. Who this? I don't think Martin Luther oh. was that kind of person. He definitely started the revolution, but he wasn't the only person. He saw issues in what was authority. I'm curious how yep. his 95 theses would have changed if he had something like the Communist Manifesto that was in itself uh, akin to I 95 think, Thesis, uh, I breaking think into the unchecked capitalism. Based on his writing, I don't think he would give a two shits about ca- like capitalism or communism or any of that. He was, I think, he, he, pretty firmly okay with the monarchy. <laughs> right, but if you give him the idea that not only should religion be in the means of the populace, but that production should be in means of the worker? Yeah, but I don't think... There's something like That really, wasn't his cause. I don't think he, really he would have dismissed that out of hand. strange about the timing of this, because... <laughs> oh, man. Because it'd be, like, indulgences were happening, but it'd be before it became so rampant under whatever pope that was during his life. See, I think Luther went through a pope transition and the other one was so for indulgences because it benefited Rome so much. Give us money. Okay, here's a problem with this. (laughs) Just my first thought is that they wouldn't understand what capitalism would be without mechanization. Back in the time, it was very still an artisan skilled labor force that were making these type of things. What is that printing press just kind of came out around that time, right? To be able to disseminate the information quickly. This is probably as high tech as they got. Beforehand, because that's what spurred his revolution. Right, fair enough. But the idea that you still needed the other... I don't know, 95% of the infrastructure, the ability to do mass manufacturing still didn't exist. The concept of even uh, what capitalism meant about who was, owns it, it. like everything was still pretty like, like specific skills. There was, like, guilds. Yeah. Okay, so I'll give him Communist Manifesto and I'll give him like a breakdown of 1850s steam technology. There's like bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> How much more dynamite do you want on this in the semi truck that you're sending back? Like, I just. <laughs> I could have imagined going back oh, to... Oh, dynamite. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's good, well, my depression is back. being... Oh, well, first, it, it dissolved Imagine the going to, like, 800 BC China in terms of how their workforce was very single-minded and everything was going to that, and you give them the means of metal production and metallurgy that would oh. cause them... Fireworks was 1100? Yeah, there is... Uh, or earlier? Doesn't matter. But whenever, they had a mineral-based technologies that were well ahead of the global competitors that they didn't even know about. Imagine if you gave them some sort of mechanization millennia before. One thing China has a lot of lot of people to do all their work. And here's the thing about humans. We don't do fucking anything unless it's economically but not only better work, than but what they we're currently doing. The most efficient food system for two thousand yeah, years. So that's why they didn't change anything. Because it worked. Because it worked. Pretty well, pretty well. And then someone decided that they were super lazy in America and invented a production line, and then we had mechanization. And that concept of being able to make interchangeable... I'm just thinking, yeah, like, yeah. This uh-huh. Is, uh-huh. we're going to just need more than one semi-truck. We just need to just roll this in nope. and just be like, we're going to make a factory, and I'm going to show you the latest Toyota production method of how to make so, something. So all we're doing is... <laughs> literally, there's no point to this, there is no There's point. no I mean, point. <laughs> Just, there is there is it's just gonna no, happen here, in a here. different time. Like it's if you started that mechanization earlier in European history, would there be as much animosity between all the states? Absolutely. Yes. Yep. But to blame such an other? Huh? Much like I'm saying that if you go back far enough and you introduce the technology, Hitler then doesn't exist. There'd be someone or else. exists way earlier, and then we someone don't necessarily care about else. that because that's you know 500 years ago. Someone right, or something would... else. Someone will. It's gonna happen again anyway. Let's be honest. There's gonna be another horrible thing that's gonna kill a lot of people. It's just gonna happen. I also, too, am optimistic in my life as far as my New Year's resolution. It just makes me really... Prior to, like, 1941, genocide wasn't 
really a word in Western vernacular? Yeah, because we didn't have the technology to make that no, happen. No, no, so no. really, because just giving us more technology earlier is just going to speed things because up, Because right? there wasn't a mass death amongst Western civilization. That's Wait, why. Was Turkey not Western at that time? Okay, just double no, checking. No, Turkey's Western. But the Congo. Oh. Everything yeah. done in Africa. Right. Everything done in Central America. Everything done in South America. Not genocide. Um, merely just advancing no, Western it gen- policies. No, it was genocide. Okay. It absolutely was, in hindsight. But what World it War was, II did... It's not even in hindsight. It was as it was <laughs> happening. Sorry. Just, just, yeah. yeah, it was. Oh my God. True. I think true. you answered the argument, though. Of like, If you gave them uh, the, the technology to do that, would it make it more peaceful? It's like, wait wait a minute. <laughs> like, we have no, plenty of cases where it would more. be very <laughs> less peaceful. Like, I, We stumbled upon it in all of the... So Cortez doesn't have horses, he has tanks. Right. It's like, well, we have a lot of gold. We still like that. Hi, guys. <laughs> Obviously, I... time travel is bullshit. Shouldn't happen. Doesn't happen. Can't happen. Not possible, and it shouldn't no, be it possible. No, it can happen. It no. can't happen inside. Yes, because... No, my coma don't statement still it, stands. I don't think it's pop. I think it's. I think it's. That impossible. is time travel because I missed out on That's ten the, years and I wake up. Nah, I don't. Mm-mm. Isn't it obvious that fun time travel is just fun not time travel possible? Is, isn't it impossible. obvious that Mike is wrong? Well, but I'm right. You're wrong. But I'm right. You're wrong. You're always wrong. If I don't have consciousness oh my God, for ten I'm years, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh. To Micah's mom, sorry. And uh bye. We'll replace that with Micah B. Oh God. So Micah B. <laughs> How's life on the other side? Tell you this, some nice aliens came down. We're like, if you go to any place, wherever you go, you're like, I'd really like to record a podcast. And they brought me here. <laughs> and I really had this intense sense of sadness, then cold, and then a real numb feeling for a bit, and then a real strong heartbeat, and I just kinda of popped up here. So Definitely the cold open. <laughs> Thanks, Mike, and be for joining with us. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Bye. Bye.